Welcome back to Bo Ventures for another Ford Maverick update. Today we are going to be installing a new tonneau cover, a hard cover tri-flip back one that can also be propped up at the back from a vendor called Bison Tonneau Covers. So something that you can get here in Canada. I, I don't think that they ship out to the US as of now but definitely a great option that is a little bit more budget friendly and we'll show you if it is worthwhile in comparison to some of the competitors. Since our last accessories video, we have done a couple things with the Maverick and I'll show you some of those things here. We got some protective film here um, installed on the truck here. So we all have a lot of rocks on our roads, so a lot of rock chipping. So we got that done. A good thing is if you're ever getting yours done is to make sure that it gets the edges folded in so you don't have any exposed edges there that can be chipped. We also got the headlights done here as well to prevent any of the pitting and we got the bumper area done. So that's the protective film there that we put on the front of the car. And if you remember from our previous videos, we did not have a bed liner at the time. Now we have a spray in bed liner. So it looks great. We got it done at the Ford dealership. Uh, they did a great job. There was some issues that we had after the first application, which was just in some of these areas here where it didn't get fully covered. So we had to bring it back in to get it resprayed, but now it is looking great. And the last key to the, the puzzle, or the piece of the puzzle is just getting this cover on so we can use it to house some special cargo, like bags or groceries, or for me, my hockey bag, I'm able to lock it in there and make sure that it's secure. The only other issue we had is when they do the spray in bed liner, they have to take off the tailgate as well. So you can see we had some scratches here on the bumper and they also nicked the paint there, as you can see on the tailgate. So we have to get that touched up so it doesn't rust in the winter. Other than that, we're excited to have the bed liner in. So let's open this tonneau cover box and get started. The installation installation says it takes about 20 to 30 minutes, but let's take a look at the instructions and show you how to put this all together. So we have both of the boxes open here. So the main one has the cover and then this side has like a bunch of seals and it looks like the guardrails or the rails that you put it on. So let's open these instructions and see where we start. So it looks like it is a 11 step process here. Let's look at the back, yeah. So step one, we're gonna install the weather strips along the front bulkhead of the cab, the ledge underneath the back window. So before putting that weather strip on, I was just gonna wipe down the ledge here. This with a soft cloth. Here we go, we have the weather stripping. And they say to put it on the ledge underneath the back window. It looks like the one that they provide, or the picture on here. The pictures aren't that clear, you can see it's printed off. It looks like it's right on the edge there, so. Let's see, this looks a little bit longer. Yeah, a lot longer than what ours is. I'm gonna do a little bit of a wider angle here, but it looks like they indeed sent us one that's a little bit longer than uh, needed. What I'm gonna do, you can see me now a little bit better, uh, is throw it on from one end here, and then trim off the other end. So let's line this up here. So we'll grab the rest of the parts that we need and then we'll show you the rest. So we got the rails here and the tube for drainage. So it's going to throw it in there as 
mentioned on instructions. And here's the next one. And step three, it says, insert the other end of the drain into any pre-cut holes you see in your bed. So in the Maverick, there are, are multiple different pre-cut holes. Uh, you have one on each side, sorry, or there's one here at the front of the cab, saying this is the front. And then there's one at the back as well. Looks like that, actually there's two on the back for drains. So you have two options there. It looks like on these rails, they only have one drainage spot on the bison cover. In on our last one, in our F-150, we had uh, 2014. It had a drain on the front and the back. So a little bit different of a setup in comparison to the cover we had on our F-150. It was one of the ones directly from Ford. So I'm not sure if that was like a backflip. I believe it was uh, just branded as a Ford model. So let's get these, this on here. Uh, I'll explain some things that are meaningful, but if not, I will just add some music in here and show you some of the process. Place the side rails, so step four, place the side rails on the side of the truck bed. Ensure your clamps are spaced equally starting at six inches from the front of the bed. Here you can see the instructions don't really show you exactly where to put it. But it looks like, based off of kind of the design, it looks like you put it right on top of the cap here on the Maverick. And then you clamp underneath here, right on it, onto the plastic. Which I'm not sure how secure that will be. We'll see over time, I guess. But let's start clamping, I guess, and then go from there. I will need to grab a tool here and then I will come back. Okay, we have the three clamps here. So clamp it on. This looks like on the Maverick, there's just like the plastic. Just a plastic cover here that you're kind of clamping it onto. So not sure what other trucks are. Like we're not experienced truck owners outside of the F-150 we had. But it'd be nice if there was something that it clamped a little bit some, on something that was a little bit more secure than just that. But let's take a look to see here. Let's get this on. As you can see right in here, I was able to get the hose into one of the drain ports. I kind of stuffed it all the way down um, with the full hose there. Um, maybe it makes more sense to cut it a little bit because it is fairly long. I will have to take a look at underneath and see how far it's going underneath. But it seems to be a little a little kink there. Uh, but that's something that will likely put it down a little bit more and see. That's too much there. Be an issue regardless of how far you have it up there. So it looks like that will be the tightest I'll be able to have it there. So another key, good thing about our key thing to make sure that you pay attention to is that you have this weather seal on the end of the, the railing. And you make sure that there's no creases or anything there. Uh, you wanna make sure that that's flat against your the body here so that no water seeps in underneath, which looks like is the case for for this one. So we do have three of these clamps. It's just fixed them out by six inches. So let's try that again here. I'll have to loosen this one up a bit and then I'll show you the end product after I put on the three of them up close. So yeah, just putting it on and then you wanna make sure that it's all the way at the top of the grooves and that you're putting a force down on the bed rail here as you tighten it up to ensure a watertight seal. I was actually really close there on where to put it, so let's tighten this up now. 
some pressure on the top here. It's all the way to the top as far as it can go. Get a proper fit. And tightening it too much results on it falling off. So. Don't think it gets any tighter than that. Without it falling off. So that's the start there, and then now I just uh, equal, equally space them out from here. So I've got the first one on that was six inch is from the front of the cab. Now I will throw the next one in the middle, and then I'll probably throw the last one on six inches away from the end of the cab. So on a shorter bed, you only use three of the clamps. On a longer bed, you would use four. On the six foot or longer, I believe it said. So I'll pre put that one on there. And I'll pre put this one on. Now we fit on the end. Has to go. The last one can't, has to go a little bit further than six inches just based off of the spacing that you have. Okay, so I got them all on on the one side. As you can see, you, re you really want to make sure that you get it all the way up here on the grooves. And then I tightened it right down. Again here, got it all the way up and tightened it. And then the last one, same thing as well. I tried to keep it away from that tie down anchor there, just so I don't have any issues using that in the future. And then last part here, you can see, here's the weather stripping on the side. So just to make sure that you have a nice seal there, you push down on it while you're tightening it. You can see it right in there. And then also at the end, I found that when I was starting to put it on, this kind of pulled back a bit. So make sure that you also have a tight seal there right against the front of the cab. And then you see the weather stripping there. Okay, I got the back cover on here. So the smallest panel, as you can see here, is at the front of the cab, and it has these little drilling points where we will put in some securements. I believe this is where you would put in the spot where you can latch in the cover if you have it up just like this, and then this will lock the cover onto the rails. So let's get those attached now. So we're on step six, so we're gonna thread in these clips here. And then step seven is to screw number two onto the tonneau cover through the pre-drilled holes underneath. So we attach the buckles to the strap here, and now I just need to drill these in, or screw these into the pre-drilled holes here. So quick tip for the, this one, um, I found it was helpful just to lift up the little flap here. You put in the little backing and then you can tighten it just like this. So it makes it a lot easier than trying to put your arm underneath and, and tighten it that way. And you can do that for this one. For the bigger hole here, we'll have to add it down and put it right onto the railing. So I got both of these anchored on, on both sides as you can see there. I did notice that they had some washers, as you can see, these little plastic ones. Uh, which I did put on these two. I'll probably take them, these off and put them on there as well uh, just to help any leakage there as well. Uh, and then we'll get on to the next step. So I laid out all the rest of the, the parts here for step number nine, which is insert the large flat bolts, which is number nine with black rubber washer number 10 through the holes on the panel. Desmalist panel, which I'm, is this right here. Through the holes underneath on the brackets and secure underneath with the screw knobs. So let's get those in. So we'll insert this here. Then I'll insert the other one here as well. And let's get them secured underneath. And then I'll tighten it up and show you what it looks like. 
So I got these bolts in with the rubber washers that you can see under there. And tighten them, in, tighten them on from underneath. We have a nice little seal there. I might have to do a little bit of adjustments here up and down. Looks like this side's a little bit further back, so I will adjust those. And now we're on to step 10, and this is where I think I found a little issue. <laughs> so when we first started, this is the number 14, and it's the bumper that where I would need to add on right here, it looks like. And when I first got it, I thought these little pieces were maybe the bumpers that were replacing this long piece and number 13, which is the the uh, weather strips, uh, was that long piece that we put on and cut. So it looks like that was actually number 14, and we never received number 13 inside of our kit. So I need to reach out to the company there and see if I can get a weather strip and then I'll have to take it off, take that bumper piece off and then put the other bumper piece on here and see how I'll see if I can get two new pieces for those since we cut the other one up. Going on to that step I'm just going to skip it for now I'm not going to use it up on the bed and then I will let you know what the resolution is. I did reach out via Instagram and I got a response right away to email them some pictures. Uh, there is also another issue I'll show you as well here once we get it down. Okay, the last piece was just putting on these knobs here for the flip back portion. So what you would do is lift the, or loosen these here. And lift that up, put that guy down there and put it underneath and then lock it in and then do the same on the other side and that's how you keep the flip back up and right now you can see it's just it just leans up against the light here but i should have that bumper piece that i was talking about across the whole top so that's one thing we're missing on this one and which I use the bumper piece as the weather seal at the bottom there, which I will need to interchange as well. And one other thing I saw, which is unfortunate, I dropped a screwdriver while working on the cover. <laughs> and look at this, it like chipped the spray and bed liner. So it looks like this piece here, it has like some of the finishing on the other side, can't really see it there, but that kind of shows that, hey, maybe they didn't uh, sand it down first, which anything that falls on here might chip it really easily, so that's unfortunate to see there that there wasn't the greatest of craftsmanship, unfortunately, with our spray and bed liner, so I'm going to have to Look into getting that fixed too, unfortunately. So after a couple of emails there, um, I need to reach out in regards to that chipped bed liner and also the weather strips here on this cover and the bent seal, which I did not show you yet. Let me show you that. So we'll pull this under so we have it fully shut. And you can see here, on the one side, you can see it covers fully here, going into the seal, 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 and then over here, it kind of warps out. And you can see that it doesn't really cover this little piece here, so there's not a seal between these two seals. It shows it a little, a little bit better on that side. So you can see where it's sealed there. And then down here, not sealed, and there's some exposed material there. And it kind of goes all the way down like that until towards the end where he goes to being sealed again. Looking on the other side, it looks fairly good. There's like one piece right here that not as far out as you probably want. Maybe it's due to the shipping and being kind of boxed up there and it just shifted it. And I guess down here again as well, you can kind of see where it's not sealed up against 
right to the back here. So this side kind of has it as well. And maybe that's just the way the design is. I don't know, I'm gonna send an inquiry into the team and I'll throw some comments in the comment box there on what the resolution is. But yeah, you can see even right here. I would assume that this seal should be out all the way and covering all the way down as like a double sealant to prevent any leakage. So it's a little unfortunate to see. But other than that, the installation, yeah, it was really easy to do. You can kind of see the low profile, which I, which I like on it as well. So right there. And that is our installation of our bison cover. A little design there. Show you another view here. Just set my light there to give us some extra light. And then underneath. Try. Let's see shutting it there, see if there's any kind of light gaps. Looks pretty good there. I think it'll full shut. But I'll, I'll report back on if there's any leakage or anything. The only things I would like to see would probably be another drain right here on the end. Um, then I can utilize the other drain holes that we have. Uh, I'm not sure if the one side will do. Um, it probably will. Our other cover had two drains, which I liked. And we never had any, any leakage there on our last truck that we had. Uh, and then also that chip that I had in the spray and bed liner. I have to inquire about that. Uh, it looks like they didn't uh, didn't sand it entirely. So I just dropped a screwdriver on it and it chipped. <laughs> uh, first first thing, unfortunately. So yeah, I'll have to get that looked into and I'll give you some updates on it. But let's shut this here and see what the back looks like. So that's with the back locked. And you can see you can't get in there. Give me a little bit of wider angle here. You can't get in. Wide angle here. That's what it looks like with the cover. So looks good. Excited to, to have a cover and finally kind of finish off the little things we wanted to do on this truck. The couple other little additions we'll eventually do are heated seats and potentially undercoating to protect it under there. Just to give you a first quick impressions review, I think I would definitely purchase again despite some of the little nuances that we've seen. Uh, I did go into the truck bed for research purposes to see if there were any gaps. And from a bed or cover perspective, there were no gaps. The only gaps I saw were kind of right in here in the, the truck bed. From the, the tailgate cover, there, or the tailgate, yeah, cover there. So that was, that was, that's the only spot that I saw glimpses of light. So there's probably gonna be some leakage in there just based off of being able to see those gaps. Um, if you have a Maverick as well, let me know um, if you've noticed that as well. Yeah, it looks like coming in this corner here, it looks like uh, there might be some issues of leaking there. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Maybe there's an opportunity to, I have it locked right now. Uh, maybe there's an opportunity to put some kind of seal here uh, to seal that up. But overall, the Bison Tonu cover, uh, for the price that you get it at, it looks great. Uh, over time, I will give you some information, maybe down in the comments or in updates, videos in the future. And there's already some things that I like and some things that potentially might not like in the Maverick. And we'll give you the updates on those pros and cons and also pros and cons on this cover as we start using it. But overall, from the last cover that we had on our 2014 F-150, which was just one of the, the Ford stock ones, which I think was a backflip labeled as Ford, uh, it looks exactly the same as a nice low profile. Uh, I, was, I was trying to play around with these to cover or see if I can get these 
little seals to cover the edges a little bit more. It looks like he can pull them over, but then the other side gets counterbalanced. So I think it's just from the panels uh, shifting side to side. So I inquired with the company in regards to that weather stripping that that was missed and maybe i did install it correctly um and the small little pieces they gave us will be used for the bumper uh so I'll check the comments below i'll give you a resolution there but overall the company has been very quickly uh, responding to any of my inquiries be it when i was looking at purchasing and also with my first inquiry there so in regards to this strip and they they mentioned to send them an email and they'll look into it so so great good communication overall uh liking the look of the cover and we'll give you an actual practical review as well but overall first impressions so far so good so thank you for watching um, and disclaimer i'm a very uh do-it-yourself kind of handyman not well versed at all so maybe take me a little bit longer but it, if i was doing it without recording or anything uh it'd probably be yeah 30 to 40 minute maybe an hour job uh very quick you just put the bed rails on on both sides you don't need any to screw into anything uh then you put the cover on put in your or drill or screw in your attachments here and then screw the actual cover on as well and then it's pretty much done so if you after doing it one time i can probably take this apart and put it back on uh, in 20 30 minutes very quickly so overall the those minor little things that i was talking about like right here uh are the only kind of downsides that i see i don't i don't think it'll cause any leakage though um even with having it that way uh, just because the water's it's pretty pretty tightly sealed here so i'll report back once we go through a dry or a car wash or have some rain and see if it holds up to that so thank you for watching and if you have any questions in regards to this cover or have any recommendations on covers that you really liked put it down in the comment section uh, i love to learn about new products and maybe something that i can get in the future if this one doesn't work out but overall uh for the value and the price of it it definitely seems like uh good quality and good ceiling there and i like that you don't have to open it up or have to flop it open and put it down to close it so that's something a little bit different than our last one. Our last one had a seal that went over, and I'll be curious on how the seal works on this end here. So you can kind of see, you can shut it there, and then it seals right in. It does lift up a little bit, but overall, it looks like it'll be a great addition to our Ford Maverick. So thank you again for watching, and Bo Venture is out there. Bye bye.